Hey guys, Bill here. You know, one thing I noticed going through your submissions is that there's a lot of submissions showing animals doing amazing things. So what I'm gonna do this week is I'm gonna show you some of my favorites from this category, including a fish that likes to eat cans for lunch, <laughs> a raccoon that likes to ride alligators, a killer whale that likes to attack black bears, but the big one that really caught my eye is this one a mantis shrimp that likes to solve the Rubik's Cube. It's a lot to cover, so we better get started. Hey, I don't know about you, but I can never solve these Rubik's Cube things. I mean, for some reason, I can't solve it at all, while guys like Colin Burns here can solve it in less than five seconds. So you can imagine how I felt when I first saw this video. It was sent in by Nigel Lim and claims to show a mantis shrimp solving a Rubik's Cube puzzle. It's not easy to do and that's why I have to ask, is this video for real? Or are we just looking at another big fat crustacean fake? Why don't we boil up some water and see what we can find out? I did some looking around and found the original video. It was first posted in 2009 by a YouTube channel named Roy L. Caldwell. I wasn't sure who that was, but it was someone very serious about underwater creatures. His channel is filled with all sorts of sea life. I like him already. <laughs> the video starts off with a Rubik's Cube laying in the sand. Then along comes the mantis shrimp. The shrimp grabs the cube and starts to play with it aggressively. It twists and turns it with its claws, pulls it this way and that, and then throws it back in the sand, only now the puzzle has been solved. Now, there wasn't any mention of this on any of my favorite myth busting or debunking sites, so what we did was focus in on the mantis shrimp itself. As it turns out, these little crustaceans are pretty smart creatures. Not only do they have the ability to learn, but have good memories as well. And then, on top of that, they have one of the most advanced visual systems ever discovered. Whereas we humans only have three types of color receptive cones in our eyes, mantis shrimp have 16, and they can move their eyes independently of each other. It might be as easy for them to solve the Rubik's Cube as it is for us just open a door. Add to this the fact that BuzzFeed posted this video as real, and I think we have a pretty good case for you know what. But hey, this isn't a show about theories or opinions. This is a show about facts, and that's why we tracked down the owner of the video. Uh, I'm Roy Caldwell, I'm professor of integrated biology at UC Berkeley. And thanks to Professor Caldwell, we were able to come up with this, the official answer. But if you're a regular viewer of this show, you know I just can't show you what's in here until you tell me what's going on up there, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake, okay? Now, if it's an inconvenient moment, you might get in trouble, something like that, it's okay to pause the video here, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you're right. Another option is just to vote right up here. Okay, you ready? And go. Okay, did you do it? Good, because in just a few seconds, I'm gonna show you what's in the official envelope here. But first, I wanna show you a few more of these submissions that came in showing animals doing crazy stuff. Johnny Trek sent in this crazy video that shows a fish taking big bites out of a soda can. Johnny, if you get that close to one of those, be very careful because it's real. Not only can puffer fish like this one take a bite out of metal cans, but humans too. One bit off the finger of a diver in Florida not too long ago. This raccoon riding an alligator looks like a Photoshop job according to Cootie Queen, but guess what? It's real. The photo was taken by Richard Jones in a Florida forest. He was trying to take a picture of the alligator when his son startled a raccoon, which then jumped on the alligator to get away. Vlogging My Life sent in this one. It shows a killer whale attacking a black bear in what looks like a freshwater stream. Vlogging, orcas have been known to swim in fresh water, but not this fresh. This was an April Fool's joke posted on Facebook by Heart of Vancouver Island. 
We found the original photos used to make the fake thanks to some excellent research by Holmes Andreas and the Chewy Piranhas. Okay, enough of this. We need to get back to this because I could go on forever. I mean, I could start showing you things like the famous mouse snake, the even more famous spider snake, and both of them are so fake, it's funny. All right, so let's do this, okay? At long last, let's find out what's up with this mantis shrimp. Is he a mental giant or just a mental shrimp? That's what we want to know. Okay, here we go. The video showing a mantis shrimp has been carefully examined by a wide variety of experts. That's good. In consultation with biology professor Royal Caldwell, we have verified the authenticity of the video and are pleased to announce the final determination as follows. All right, you ready? Here it is. The video is real. <laughs> I knew those things were like the smart. Oh, wait a minute, there's a butt. I hate these things I got butts. There's that, what is it? Is there a song out there, I like big butts and I cannot like? Well, this one, I hate big butts and I cannot like, okay? <laughs> Here we go. But the claim that the mantis shrimp solved the Rubik's Cube puzzle is false. <laughs> Boo! Came about in 1985, a long time ago. We were making a uh, film for Wildlife on One in Attenborough, a uh, British television program. Professor Caldwell was studying the learning behavior of mantis shrimp at that time. The protocol we were using uh, took a little plexiglass cube that was hollow and we put shrimp inside the cube and then uh, epoxied glass over the cover, over the hole. And then when it got the cube, it would break it open and pull out the meat. One day while filming, the crew was out for lunch and they saw a small Rubik's Cube for sale. And it just so happened it was about the same size as that plexiglass cube that Professor Caldwell was just telling you about. So we bought one in our spare time. We shot a series of sequences with the animal manipulating the uh, cube. What they did was they let the animal play with the Rubik's Cube for a little while, stop the camera, then pull the cube out, and then rotate it closer to a solution. They then put it back in the tank and started rolling the camera again. Well, it's uh, fake if you were asking, could it actually solve the cube? Could it manipulate the cube? Yes, it could, but it couldn't solve it. Originally, they made the video clip for their own entertainment, but then the host of the BBC show, Sir David Attenborough, saw it and decided he wanted to use it as a promotional tool for the show. Take a look. Amazing mantis shrimps. And there'll be more fascinating animals in Wildlife on One next week. But few others could do this to a Rubik cube. Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video. I want to thank all you guys for sending in those fantastic pictures and videos. Also want to thank the Chewy Piranhas for their fantastic research work as usual. And a special thanks goes out to Professor Roy L. Caldwell for taking time to talk to us. And hey, if you want to go over and take a look at the original video again, head on over to Roy's channel. I'm going to leave a link up here and here. Now that you know the real story, it's a really interesting to look at it because you can see where they made those little edits in order for the shrimp to solve it. It's pretty cool. And hey, if you've got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it over to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links in the comment section as it makes me crazy. See you next time.